the title of our work is image models for large scale object detection and classification. So we are solving uh, essentially this problem for um, computer vision about uh, localizing uh, objects in the objects in the image. Uh, and uh, we uh, also implement uh, classification and segmentations of the local, localized objects. Uh, so uh, the classic structure of um, uh, machine learning uh, tasks, all these uh, machine learning uh, tasks are, uh, can be fit in this structure where we have a model and And uh, we send uh, to this model a sequence of images and uh, the model, which is of a network nature, mostly in the computer vision tasks, uh, generates the set of predictions or uh, structural uh, information ex extracted from this image. And we compare these predictions with a training data set. And uh, essentially we use some optimi optimization algorithm based on gradient methods mostly to uh, optimize the parameters or weights of the models to minimize the difference between the prediction and the training data set. So uh, the main, main problem in this uh, situation is that these uh, machine learning models have very large number of parameters. For example, it can be thousands or uh, more numbers and all these numbers have to be tuned. And of course they cannot be tuned by a human they have to be tuned by optimization algorithm. And the second key uh, problem in these computer vision tasks is the training data set. Uh, without the training data set, we don't have a reference to where we have to drive the model uh, to be trained. And uh, our primary uh, goal in this project is to construct a data set. Yeah, okay. So uh, the motivation for uh, the work was mainly that the data sets which are widely used in uh, object detection and classification like uh, Contact Coco uh, data set from Microsoft has some limitations. And the limitations are that there is a limited number of categories or uh, labels which we can uh, um, classify in uh, the image. For example, the COCO data set has only 80 uh, categories. And uh, our primary goals with uh, our data set is to um, extend the number of categories and uh, group images in uh, thematic subdomains and uh, build an ontology of uh, um, labels, which covers uh, this, uh, this set of subdomains. And uh, also we want to accelerate one ma main problem in the machine learning is also how we collect these uh, images, how we uh, organize this data set. And uh, we developed a framework or a tool chain which uh, helps in this with using actual machine learning models by um, generating a set of proposals for uh, the image sets we, we download. And uh, then uh, the human operator, which should check these uh, uh, proposals, has uh, a uh, less work to do with uh, examination of, uh, of them. And the third goal is to, to have a multilingual support for the, for the categories which we want to classify the objects in the image. Uh, so, Let's uh, take a look of what we have achieved uh, in uh, overview. So we have uh, generated a data set which contains more than uh, uh, 2,000, 2, uh, 20,000 images and uh, 700 ontology classes. Again, compares, compared to the data sets which are already uh, in the web, uh, they are like 80 or 100 but uh, very few data sets have uh, more ontology classes. Um, Google Nets has 1000, but uh, that's an like outlier. 
And uh, all these ontology classes are translated in 25 languages. And uh, the images from the data sets are divided in uh, 130 thematic domains, like uh, from uh, basketball or volleyball. Uh, these are just uh, groups of images which are relevant uh, content. And uh, we uh, have four main domains, which are sport, transport, art, and security. And uh, of course, uh, now the data set is not so much rich, but uh, with the tool chain we have developed uh, with pre-trained models, it can be extended. So for each of these 130 thematic domains, we have a dedicated machine learning model, which is trained for this specific domain. So this machine learning model can assist in the further extension of this uh, uh, thematic domain with more images. Uh, let's take a look at the format of the data set. We have uh, each thematic domain uh, is a collection of images with various formats and uh, one file, which is JSON uh, format, which contains the actual information about um, object detected in the image uh, as um, bounding boxes and um, also masks, uh, segmentation masks. Uh, we use uh, the COCO standard representation where we the data have three data structures. Data structure which describes the images, data structure which describes the categories, and data structure which uh, describes all the objects localized in the uh, image and uh, their segmentation and bounding box. We call uh, this localization an annotation of the object. Uh, the framework, as I mentioned, which we use for um, generation and for the extension of the data set uh, is uh, composed of uh, three uh, steps. The first step is the different machine learning models. Initially, we start with uh, YOLO um, computer vision uh, network, which uh, generates uh, the predictions in the standard focal data set, which is composed of uh, 80 classes and uh, detector on two uh, models from a Facebook research group, which uh, use uh, uh, regional uh, convolutional ne neural networks. And lately, after we have accumulated some set of, of images, we trained our set of models, machine learning models, which are again in the convolutional uh, uh, Built, uh, which we call uh, MIC-21. The, there are some processing stages. I will uh, explain shortly in the next slide. And uh, we have some visualization tools, which allows um, a set of uh, human operators to uh, work with the data set by correcting errors and extending the data set with uh, corrections, uh, which are not um, able to be uh, detected by the machine learning models. And also we have a pre presentation framework which shows the, um, which, which allows the data set to be used for evaluation or um, public to the, to the web. So here is more detailed view of the framework tools. It's a um, rather complicated process, uh, um, but uh, it proves very fast as a method to build a big data set because uh, we first used these machine learning models to um, produce some initial guess uh, or predictions about the images. And uh, after this, we um, have some stage where a human annotator is uh, make the corrections of the image. We have also some set of scripts which make automatic labeling, merging of uh, different folders of images, uh, translating annotations from one place to another. And uh, we use a presentation framework based on uh, free software uh, 51 from uh, Microsoft Research Group. So uh, some more concrete uh, views of the screens. This is the annotation tool we, we use uh, when the operator have to process the generated proposals for uh, uh, segmentations in the image uh, where can be selected various parts of the image and um, 
can be um, categorized in different uh, um, domains. Uh, another tool we use for presentation and evaluation is the 51, uh, which uh, is a very convenient tool when we have uh, several models and we want to uh, compare them uh, by what annotations or predictions each model generate and we can overlay one model on top of the other. Of course, uh, these softwares, they are free, but uh, they're, they're not completely comply to our needs. So we have to make some uh, uh, changes or uh, updates to them. And uh, with, uh, for example, with this tool, we added this upload button, which allows the user uh, to upload its images and they to be automatically accumulated in this data set. So with, uh, these tools, our main uh, benefit is to uh, be able to fast uh, build a data set which contains diverse uh, uh, amount of information. And uh, all this software, uh, we have uh, upload to the GitHub as uh, different uh, projects. Uh, our modifications to the YOACT uh, and 51 uh, repositories are um, updated. A tool and we have one repository which is for the framework framework of tools containing uh, all the training trained model and the script for for their training and uh, we have a pipeline of scripts which assist uh, image processing for uh, the purpose of the framework uh, I, here and i want to take a, a retrospective to what actually machine learning model we trained uh, contain contain uh, they have three uh, main um, components. The first is convolutional ne network, which uh, uh, extracts um, with the help of uh, two-dimensional uh, filters, um, features from feature maps from the raw uh, pixel data of the image. Then we have a regional proposal network or uh, algorithm, which gives some suggestions of where in the image we can have objects. And lastly, we have some uh, region of interest analysis head, which uh, works as a um, subnetwork acting on each of the proposed regions and do actual classification and segmentation. Uh, this uh, formula actually uh, defines the criteria which is optimized uh, when we tune these parameters of the uh, machine learning model. And in this criteria, we can the first part contains the coordinates of the bounding box of each uh, object in the Im image. And uh, the second part contains the difference between um, training uh, class and the predicted class of the image. Uh, so all machine learning models more or less uh, fit to some uh, criteria which we optimize. And uh, in our case, this is the criteria we, we, we use. So we have uh, training for all the 130 subdomains we, we uh, uh, divided our images in. And uh, resulting set of models, we evaluate uh, with uh, standard performance measures. So these measures are based on this uh, metric, which is intersection over union which um, calculates the intersection between target bounding box or uh, segmentation and prediction, predicted bounding box and uh, divides this on the union of both uh, bounding boxes, boxes as a uh, set. And the two measures which are most used in the computer vision research, this is precision and recall. Uh, precision gives uh, how accurate uh, we guess the class of the uh, or the label of uh, some object in the image. And the recall gives how accurate we uh, detect um, image, uh, an object in the, in the image. And uh, these uh, parameters, this uh, measures precision and recall, since they are dependent on uh, threshold of the intersection of a union metric, they are represented as graphs, uh, which, are, which uh, we can show some examples from four different domains. For example, on the first uh, graph, we see uh, for uh, three categories, the climber, the choke dog, uh, choke buck, sorry, and um, climbing, climbing uh, helmet, uh, the, uh, the precision recall curves, 
which uh, generally the bigger is the the bigger is the area below the curve, the better is performing the model. So with the help of this uh, graphical representation, we evaluate how bad how how good the model is able to capture the information in the in the training data set and we also can compare between them uh, we calculate from this uh, precision recall information the average precision and average recall metrics which can be used for a general level um, evaluation of the data set uh, over all the categories and uh, here we present uh, some results for all the domains we uh, have uh, trained the models. Uh, for example, the average precision and recall, the average precision is with uh, blue uh, bars and average recall is uh, with red bars for the art domain. Uh, the bigger is uh, the precision and recall, the better is performing the model. Uh, we see that for some uh, uh, categories, uh, for like um, piano player, we have very, very uh, big uh, uh, precision and recall metric. But for other categories like ballet dancer, we have low uh, metrics. Uh, this can indicate that there is uh, some deficiency in the data set. And this can be used as a guide to which data sets we want, we have to extend with more training uh, data or more specific training data. It's not always necessary to be a large data set to have good results. It should be uh, matched to what the model needs. And um, similar results uh, we can show for the security domain. Uh, here we can uh, see that for different domains, we have different uh, amount of images and different amount of categories. Uh, for security, this is domain which is still in development and we have uh, the least amount of uh, categories. But uh, here also we have uh, relatively good uh, metrics. Uh, of course, it's not so important for us is, is the metric good or bad. It actually points us where we, we have to improve the data set and to um, improve the training of the model because these metrics are for the models which are trained only for a fixed number of um, uh, epochs. Uh, iterations, which are um, 1,000 iterations for all the 130 models. Uh, and uh, this can be used as a guide for further improvement of uh, these models. Uh, this is the sport domain, which has the most, uh, most of our images uh, and also the transport. Uh, and here we see the same thing. There is some categories which are uh, better uh, performing and some which are not so, so good. This is the result for the transport. So generally, this is the um, content of uh, training data set. We have, uh, it's not only a data set, it's like a data set with a mechanism for its extension and accelerated uh, performance. So uh, thank you for uh, your attention and we'll be glad to answer questions.